Dean Rice, 118 game Carlton player, Premiership player 1995. Welcome to Carlton FC TV. Thank you. Dean, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what you're up to these days? Uh, you know who you're working for and what the role entails. Yeah, I work for the uh, the WorkSafe ECFL. My role here is to look after all the training education right across the state, which varies from administration training to life skills training to accreditation courses. And uh, you know, I'm going to manage and develop and, and deliver all those courses right across the state. What a great role for someone that's come from a, a football background to be able to remain in the system and perhaps put a bit back. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, I've been involved in footy since I was eight years old, so uh, I have a bit of knowledge and it's good to put that knowledge back into, into a full-time role. And of course, you're not too far away from uh, where it all happened in those great years through the 90s, Dean. You know, yeah. you're, you're actually uh, talking to me from the uh, what, what is the uh, hero stand here at the yeah. ground. So. Um, home I guess is still very much where the heart is. Yeah, no, we uh, we were based at the MCG and because of the upgrade of the Southern Stand we had to move our, our home base and uh, our busy park come up and it was great to, to get back here and, and see the old stomping grounds. So. And you of course were a teammate of uh, the current coach, Brett Ratton. Um, here are you assessing his uh, performance so far? Did you think from the outset that he was tailor-made to become a senior coach one day? Oh, definitely. Yeah. When I was playing with Rats, he was uh, one of those players that was a deep thinker about his games and uh, was very intense about about his football and uh, he was always one of those players that was going to make a transition to, to coaching and you know, I think he's doing a great job. You know, he, he's taken a team from where they were three or four years ago, got them into a team now that, uh, that you know, is probably one of the, the top four teams in the competition so I think he's doing a good job. And uh, looking ahead to Friday night, a uh, chance for the boys to bounce back pretty hard I guess against Melbourne. Yeah, no, they, now their form, as, as you know, is pretty good, and Melbourne form is pretty inconsistent. So as long as they keep playing that level that they played last week and the weeks prior to that, um, you know, I think their their form is better than Melbourne's. And uh, you know, if they play, as I said, if they play that form, they should win the weekend. In a final one, Dean, um, Chris Judd aside, I don't believe there's any Carlton player that's tasted premiership success. You have. What does it take to get there? You know. To that extent, what advice would you give to the players as they try and work their way to the to the top? Oh, look, I think it's just hard work. You know? um, and the big thing is that uh, you know, with footy, you have your ups and downs. But as long as you, you keep working hard, you keep persisting, keep believing in yourself, uh, believing in your abilities, that uh, you know, things turn around. And uh, you know, I think they've got a a cohesion now within their team that they all start to believe that they're good enough and they can win it. As long as that keeps going through and have a bit of luck of injury, then, as I said, they're pretty close. Good on you, Dean. Thanks very much. Right. Appreciate your time and, and good luck with uh, with country footy and, and putting a bit back into uh, footy in the rural areas of Victoria. Thanks. Thanks.